hello, hello, my boils and ghouls, and welcome to the channel, and welcome to part four, to the devil and me. Now, if you missed the previous episode, you're going to want to backtrack a little bit, because we left things a little hairy in the last episode. But, for those of you that haven't been missing out, we're going to keep on uh, trucking ahead. Mm -mm. Alright, like I just said, we left things kind of hairy, we put Charlie in kind of a bad spot everyone's kind of talking down about him and that he's losing his stuff because he doesn't have his cigarettes and just we got a killer somewhere around here like someone is stalking us and uh they wouldn't have made this video game if something wasn't going on <laughs> but alright you guys without further ado we're gonna hop right into this so you know the whole spiel with YouTube and the likes and the subscribes go ahead and do that whole shebang if you haven't already and you want to be kept up to date here on the channel otherwise let's just hop right into this Hey guys! Hey guys, yeah, no, it's not gonna be a tense dinner at all. Mmm. <laughs> Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine, hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what, why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just... Left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here, and to dinner, and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner, and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? 
In true Lana Entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Now, I would like to toast all of you, really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet <coughs> in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes, perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 OK. So I'm trying my absolute hardest to make Charlie not an asshole. And I swear to God, he keeps fighting me. I've never had a character fight me on decisions like this. And what is, what am I looking at? What is this? Oh my God. Oh. I, I, I don't know how to continue on with Charlie though. The, oh man, he's becoming a hassle towards these guys. And we haven't even gotten into any of the actual shiznit of it. Uh oh. Hello? Guys? Is that you?
else and covered the ground with more cement to cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Oh my god! I am not gonna lie to you. I I I, I might have just dookied myself. Oh. Dude, what the hell? That scared the hell out of me. But alright, finally something happens. I'm I'm down for this. Let's see what happens. Way to go. Breakers. Alright, so we just gotta follow this little line all the way to the breaker room. Gotcha. Okay, flashlight. Perfect. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Okay, what's all in here? Is there anything else? No? That's it? Zero, four, five, one. Okay. Gotta try to remember that code. Zero four five one.
might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. All oh, without my stand in. <laughs> uh, four, five. This is your own damn fault. One? One. One. Yes! I can't believe we remembered that. Oh, thank God. Something oh, from this century. These... Okay, so hold on. Press the equip. Okay. Now let's see. Do I start from here? Let me try it like this. I don't think this is how I'm supposed to go about it, but... Nope, was not. Okay, hold on. Isn't it from the top, or is it the same as the other one? Am I overthinking this again? I swear to god I am. I haven't done one of these since episode 2, or 1. Whoever that is, I'm sorry. I got to break what I fixed. Oh uh, god, I am horrible at this. I am the worst. If this isn't it, it's gotta be from the bottom. It's gotta go from the bottom to the left, up to the right. Okay, that didn't work. Am I right? I think I'm right. No, no, no. This one? No, 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 no. Why am I second get? <clears throat> I'm over here panicking when I don't need to. I just need to take a breath. Just... <sighs> okay. Alright. There's no creepy killer behind us. There's nothing coming to get us. I got this. I got this. I'm sorry. I'm getting way, way too into this. <laughs> Oh my god, I suck. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. We got this. Uh. Down. Oh, wait. <gasps> that was right. Let's go! Didn't take us any time. Like, two tries. Two tries at the very best. Severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat.
This is not okay. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that they're moving. Why, man? These have to be the creepiest little shits ever. Wait. Ooh, hold on. I could get a thumbnail out of this, maybe. Hold on. Let me freeze right there. And I got it. <laughs> That's right. I'm bringing you guys in the works with me. You guys are going to be part of the video. Nonetheless, you guys are always part of the video, just watching. Alright, what the hell am I supposed to be looking for? Is there anything over here? Nothing. Hmm. So we played the recording. Turned on the curtain. There's got to be something else. I feel like I'm missing something else. I really feel like I am. Bamboozled right now. I am so bamboozled that, ugh, walked all that way for literally, ooh, hold on, ooh, ooh, we didn't miss something. Okay, big boyne, big boyne, big boyne, I got big boyne. Even still, I wish I didn't walk all the way back to the frickin' starting point of this, so... Damn oh my god! Damn it! You fuck. You fucker. <sighs> okay, anyway. Anyway. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Mon Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. 
The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Okay, so that was another secret that we found. Okay. Why'd they put so much emphasis on burning someone, though? Hmm. I don't like that. That's like foreshadowing. I really don't like that. But I do like the fact that they are making this more psychological, I guess, with kind of like Holmes act. I don't know if they're the actual interviews or not. If they are, they're absolutely cooked. He's absolutely a psychopath. How are looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. <coughs> what the hell? God, come on now. We only have three shots with it. She's not in any immediate danger. I'm not using it. Get me out of Just here. get her out. Plain and simple. Get her out. You got Mark. He can break the door. Oh, man. We got to. I know it's an asshole thing to do. But if it was me and I was asthmatic, I think I would try to save the shot. Aaron? I, I need my inhaler. I'm having an asthma attack. What's your room number? I... Hurry! Charlie, where's your room? Next to mine, down the long hallway to you. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys! I... I, I can't... Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Who's there? from me. I don't want to attack him because if he was going to hurt us, he would have already done it. I got to take his hand. Oh God, please, please, please. Shit. Why did he just take care?
I didn't know what else to do. If I attacked him, I could have easily have died right there. I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to use this now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to her. I really didn't want to use that right now. I think it's good that we didn't use it though. I think if we used it sooner... Damn. I don't know. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... He was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... He had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Thank you, Curator. Alright. Before we end this, let's see what happens next. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <sighs> Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now... This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right, <sighs> here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, OK? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. 
Sorry. It's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's going to be OK. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. No, don't. Uh, sorry, I just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. All right, so with that, we're going to wrap things up. Just, this was a chaotic episode. Like, so much shit happened so fast. I wasn't ready for most of it. But I, I don't know what to do. Like, everyone's coming down on Charlie, acting like this is Charlie's fault. But it's not necessarily his fault because they all agreed to come with. So why they're all coming after him, I don't understand. But this aggression coming from Charlie as well is just adding on fuel to the fire. As a group, I don't know if they're going to actually be able to stick together and actually make it out. I, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, man. But all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed episode four to this series that we got going on for the devil and me. You know the whole shindig with YouTube. If you liked, you enjoyed, you want to follow, do all that. If not, no biggie. Otherwise, for those of you enjoying the series, I will catch you in the next one. I will catch you in episode 5. Hope to see you guys there. Bye.